What is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Oscar Pinaloza bringing you back to my YouTube channel. Leave a like and a comment, subscribe to the bell on the page with friends. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over a couple of things that might be impacting your weight loss. I'm going to be going over 10 things that you're probably doing and if you are doing these things, they're definitely affecting your results for weight loss. Starting off at number one would be more of a mindset thing. Basically, if you're doing this this is definitely gonna affect you down the road. You haven't made weight loss a priority. That means that you're probably not taking it seriously. You're doing other things that are probably gonna be affecting you, maybe going out and drinking, things like that. A lot of people, when they say they want something, they don't take it seriously. And then once you don't start seeing those results you wanted, then you start falling back and you start thinking, hey, you know, what am I doing wrong? What haven't I been doing when in the first place? Um, just off the bat, you just haven't been taking it seriously. It just hasn't been a priority. You're probably doing other things that are affecting you. So if you want to lose weight, really think about why you want that. Really set a goal for yourself. Really go and think hard on that because if you just kind of want it, you're probably not going to get there. The second thing would probably be you're having too many beverages and you're having too many snacks. This could be just buying snacks, taking them at home probably chips, ice cream, little things like that. You're probably drinking too much soda, too much sweet tea, a lot of sweetened beverages, maybe alcohol, you're going out and drinking too much. Maybe you're going out and partying, having a lot of beer and different things like that. A lot of these things in the moment, they don't seem too bad, but over time, those things do kind of accumulate. So you kind of have to be aware of those things. Usually things like chips, uh, candy, ice cream, things like that, they're really high in calorie. So it's really easy to overeat things like that. Also beverages, they're just empty calories. And having liquid is a lot easier to consume than having, you know, a solid, a solid object, uh, something that you'd be able to eat, something solid. And then going on to the third thing, which I believe a lot of people do actually do, is having too much fast food, going out and eating too much. Like I said, this kind of goes back to number two. You're probably ordering fast food. You're having fried food, you know, fries, anything that comes with, with fast food. You're probably having sodas. You're probably having maybe some sort of, of sweet, some sort of dessert. And fast food is really cheap. It's really easy to get. So, you know, it's easy just to kind of go in and spend a couple of dollars on some fast food instead of going home and cooking a whole meal that probably will take maybe around an hour, 30 minutes. It just kind of depends on what you're doing. So definitely stay away from those fast food because like I said, it's really easy to consume, really cheap. A lot of these foods, they don't have high quality nutrients and have a lot of calories. So it could be just a sandwich, just a regular sandwich could probably be about 600, 700 calories on its own, not including other things like the size, maybe like the fries, like the drink. So yeah, probably just avoid fast food. Number four would probably be you're not drinking enough water. I know a lot of people don't get enough water in their daily intake. I try to get as much water as I can. I only kind of drink water when I'm thirsty. I've seen different sources of information. They say if you just kind of follow what your body is asking, drink water when you're thirsty and don't stress over too much. I know some people walk around with a whole gallon of water saying that they consume a whole gallon. You don't have to do that. But if you're not having enough water, I'd probably say just kind of try to bring that up slowly over time for sure. Also, one little trick you can do whenever you're eating foods, kind of going back with water. If you have a meal, eat some food and then drink water with the meal or at the end of the meal. Usually in the mornings when I have breakfast, I'll have my breakfast first and then I have something maybe like a tea. Sometimes water just kind of depends how I'm feeling on that day. Just the water on itself will fill me up and I know some people like to get filled up. That would be a good thing to do, especially with water because water has no calories. So definitely do that. Number five would be that you're not getting enough activity. I know a lot of people, they go to school, you know, you're sitting at the desk a lot. Maybe your job doesn't require you to move around a lot. A lot of people, that's the reason why they go to the gym, you know, they go in for, for activity, you know, it could be lifting weights, cardio, whatever you want to do, but just not being active enough can kind of affect you because the more you move around, the more energy you're expending throughout the day. You want to be moving around enough to kind of supplement that weight loss. If you're not getting enough activity, you're going to have a harder time losing weight just because if you're already eating improperly, eating a lot of calories, having that really low amount of activity isn't going to help at all. Remember this, you can never out train a bad diet. So if you're just eating really bad, you're not going to be able to out train that no matter how hard you train. You could be doing a marathon for all I care, but if you come home and in the mornings you have some sort of coffee, a lot of different coffee options are really high in calorie, 
Uh, I've seen some go up to a thousand just for one little cup and it's just really easy to consume that some some people might have one two of those a day number six would be you're probably following a crash diet what does that mean it means that you're doing things like keto you're doing things like paleo um, carnivore diet going all vegetarian i have nothing against all these different diets but if you're doing them solely for the purpose of losing weight you're going about it in the wrong way. There's a lot of misconceptions and misinformation out there where people will say, you know, keto is the best thing to do. Um, a carnivore diet is the best thing to do. Going all vegetarian is the best thing to do. And if you're trying to lose weight, that's not true. I know that some people have to do keto and other things like that, just depending on, on kind of how your genetics are. Some people have different circumstances where they have to eat a higher amount of fat. And I understand that. But if you're doing it solely for the purpose of weight loss, if you're following a crash diet, you're going the wrong way about it. These crash diets tell you you'll lose a large amount of, of body weight in around a month time, when in reality, it takes a long time to lose body weight. You wanna do it the slow way because if you do it fast, you lose a lot of body weight. And then over the long run, the, a lot of these diets are really restrictive. So you're gonna to wanna to go back and you're gonna fall into bad habits. You're gonna start binging again, going back to those old foods that you were avoiding in the first place, just because these, these diets are just meant for quick weight loss. And then once you lose that weight, a lot of people, what they do, they lose a lot of weight really quickly, but they put on the weight even quicker. And sometimes they'll put on even more weight than they lost. So I would definitely avoid crash dieting, take the, the weight loss as a slow process over time. Don't rush it because it'll just lead to bad results. Also to add on to that just a little bit, whenever you're losing weight, a lot of that weight at first is gonna be water weight. A lot of people think that just because the number on the scale went down, they're losing fat. That's not necessarily true. The body's gonna go towards different things like water because it's a lot easier to, to let go, especially if you're sweating right there, you're already losing some of that water you're retaining. And also if, if you lose weight too quickly, you can sometimes start to burn away at muscle, which you don't really want because muscle is really good at burning calories. Muscle burns way more calories than fat. And usually you wanna have the most amount of muscle while having the least amount of fat. Moving on to number seven would be you're probably not having enough vegetables. Vegetables are really good, not only because they have really good nutrients and a lot of vitamins. Also, they're really filling. If you have a, a whole plate, let's say of broccoli, it's a lot harder to finish that than maybe having a whole plate of rice. Not saying that rice is bad, but it's a lot easier kind of to eat carbohydrates, being rice, being bread, little things like that, compared to vegetables, because vegetables are denser. They'll fill you up a lot more than your regular food. So if you're not eating vegetables, I would definitely say take advantage of that, because vegetables not only have a lot of nutrients, a lot of vitamins, they also are very low calories. So if you add that as a side to your food, you're definitely gonna be getting fuller whenever you're having your meals. Number eight kind of ties back to number six. So number eight, what it is, you're not patient enough. You're trying to make the process as fast as possible. Or like I said, you wanna have a slow and steady process. Usually around one to two pounds of weight loss per week is recommended. Anything more than that kinda comes down specifically to you. Some people can lose more weight than that, but a recommendation that is usually given is around one to two pounds of weight per week just because it's a good number it's not too fast and it's realistic a lot of people aren't going to lose weight they're not going to do five pounds a week just because that's a lot of weight when you really think about it five pounds especially if it's fat that's a lot of body weight that's coming out of your body so definitely take your time when you're losing weight don't try to rush it it's a slow process the slower the better because Whenever you're taking more time, your body's gonna actually go into those fat stores and it's gonna keep as much muscle as possible. And like I said, that's what we want. We wanna keep that muscle because muscle burns a lot of calories and it's gonna help us later in the long run. Number nine might come at a surprise. Number nine is you're not getting enough sleep. A lot of people don't get enough sleep. A lot of people only sleep four to five to six hours per night. I always try to go for eight hours. The minimum I'll do is six, and if I get six, I just can't function properly. When you're sleeping, you're not eating, so you wanna take advantage of that. The longer you're sleeping, the more time you go without eating, and that's good because in your sleep, your body's still burning calories, your body doesn't shut down. That's a misconception that a lot of people have. They say, I can't eat before I go to bed. That's not true, you can eat before you go to bed because your body is still active, it's still doing a lot of different things, and it's still burning through calories. So if you don't get enough sleep, your, your days are cut shorter, 
So the amount of time that you spend eating is going to be greater compared to sleeping less and having a shorter amount of time in your day to eat those foods that you're eating. And number 10, which is going to be the last one, number 10 is going to be a kicker. If you're not following this, you're not going to lose weight no matter what. Number 10 is you're not in a calorie deficit. What does that mean? Basically, everyone burns a certain number of calories per day. It's specific towards everyone. Some people might burn 2,000. Some people might burn 3,000. Just kind of comes down to you. If you're not in a calorie deficit, meaning you're underneath that threshold of calories that you burn per day, meaning that if you burn 2,000 calories a day, you should try to eat 1,900 calories a day or try to eat 1,800, 1,700, 1,600, 1,500. Like I said, you want to be on that calorie deficit. Your body burns 2,000 and you want to be down here. That's how you start to lose weight. You put yourself in a calorie deficit by eating less and moving more. By eating less, you're consuming less energy and calories. And by moving more, you're expending more energy and calories. So you want to be as active as you can. Do little things like walking, running, going to the gym, playing sports, little things. Whatever you enjoy comes down to you. Something that's enjoyable and sustainable to you that you can do over a long period of time. Being active and eating properly in a calorie deficit is gonna definitely help you on that weight loss. So those are my 10 tips, 10 different things that you're probably doing which are causing you not to lose weight. Obviously, there's gonna be different variables, other things you might be doing, but these are the things that I feel that a lot of people do and don't do, which leads them to not lose the proper weight that they're looking for. If I miss anything, leave it down in the comments. If you have any questions, also feel free to ask me down in the comments. If you like this video, leave a like. I'll make a part two of other things you might be doing wrong, leading you to not lose weight. But definitely go to my channel, watch my other videos. I have really good information about different topics. But hopefully you found this video informative. Hopefully you can use this information and correct a lot of the things you were doing wrong before. But other than that, I hope you like this video. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Click that bell icon to see future videos. I'm going to be making more videos like this where I'm giving you information, talking about different subjects. If you want a specific subject you want me to talk about, leave it down in the comments. But I appreciate you watching this video, taking your time out of your day. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't already for future content. You have a good night, good day, wherever you are, and I'll see you in my next video.